um, talking about the Bengal elections, which are just around the corner, um, I think the winds are blowing in favor of Trinamool Congress. I mean, that's kind of obvious because uh, if you look at the condition of the left, which has been on the decline in general pan India, uh, in Bengal, it's absolutely no different, especially uh, because of the very weak leadership um, of the left in Bengal. There has been absolutely no efforts put in by the left leadership, which is still remained the same as it was in the last 10 years. You still have Shujakanto Misro, you still have um, Biman Bosch, you know, who they, they, they're just always going on public platforms and just ranting. They're just ranting about uh, what Trinamool has done wrong. I mean, it's just a blame game politics. They've not really given it much thought, um, you know, as to how to revive their politics on a ground level. In, in the grassroots level, they've completely lost touch, which is what Mamta Banerjee's uh, stronghold is, you know. She knows maybe she's lost a lot of support from the urban classes, especially, you know, the students uh, with whom she's had like a lot of clashes over the last few years during her regime. But she, I don't think, really cares about it. She can actually be pretty blatantly uh, dismissive of the fact that she's lost a lot of support over there because she knows where her strongholds are and if you actually go into the interiors of Bengal you'll see that there is a lot of um, support in favor of her uh, where they said that they, she's done a lot of infrastructural work where, whereas in the urban areas like in Calcutta and all you know uh, she has uh, had a lot of allegations of money misappropriation but that, does, that doesn't really touch her because she knows what the CPI ha uh, I am has completely lost out on is where her stronghold uh, is, which is the grassroots levels, the rural areas. She talks in their language and she dresses like them. She addresses the masses like they're her own. So she completely knows the game well that way uh, as compared to, you know, this really old and uh, very, very CPM uh, battalion, which you have in Bengal right now, which is really very very hopeless and it's pretty sad and also i think another thing is this whole um you know alliance of convenience which has happened between the left and the congress in bengal i don't think even though they have a lot of intelligent arithmetic going on where they have decided to fight out only around 15 seats amicably where you know a candidate from both congress and uh, left they are going to come and uh, have a face off in the rest of the 200 assembly seats they're going to be there's going to be they're going to be left candidates whereas in around 80 they're just going to be congress candidates so this might actually not work out on the on the ground level because a lot of these left loyalists might actually have to just choose from uh, some of the congress candidates because there probably aren't going to be any um, left candidates uh, contesting elections from their constituency and vice versa for the Congress loyalists as well in Bengal. So maybe that's not going to work out in their favor. So, uh, which is why Trinamool Congress is pretty confident that even though this alliance arithmetically might actually take them over, in reality, chemistry-wise, it probably is going to fail. So yeah, I think most of it, the winds are blowing in uh, Trinamool Congress's favor. And... Uh, you know, they go into elections in just about a week. So um, let's see what happens.